Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have something incredibly exciting lined up for you. We'll be diving into the world of Revi OS, a cutting-edge operating system that will breathe new life into your PC. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have Revi OS up and running smoothly on your computer. So let's start the video. Imagine a world where your PC runs faster, smoother, and more efficiently. That's what Revi OS promises, and we're here to make it a reality. So without further ado, let's dive right into the installation process. Remember, this video is about clean installation of Revi OS, means your installed Windows OS will be removed after installing Revi OS. So take it seriously. Now, the, our first step is download the ISO file of Revi OS. To download it, simply open your web browser and search for the Revi OS download in Google. Now open the first link, which is revi.cc. Once the website is opened, simply scroll down. As you can see here, these are the two editions are available here, which are Revi OS Windows 10 and Revi OS Windows 11. Here, we are downloading Revi OS Windows 10 because this video is dedicated for Revi OS 10 only. In upcoming videos, we will walk you through the installation process for Revi OS Windows 11, so stay tuned. To download it, simply click on Download button. Now, here we have to select the mirror link. So I recommend you to select the media fire for downloading the Revi OS. To select any mirror link, simply click on that link. So in this video, we are downloading via media fire server. Once you clicked on it, the new tab will be opened. As you can see here, the ISO file is around 3.5 GB in size. To download it, simply click on Download. Now the file will be downloaded shortly. After downloading, follow the next steps. Now the our next step is download the Rufus tool. To download it, simply open your web browser. And search for the Rufus download in Google. Now open the first link, which is rufus.ie. Now scroll down and navigate to the download section. Now click on Rufus 4.2. Now the Rufus will be downloaded. After downloading, follow the next steps. Now the our next step is write the ISO file to USB drive. To do that, open the Rufus tool, which we downloaded. Now in the device section, select the USB drive. Please make sure you've selected the right drive. Otherwise, if you selected the wrong drive, the data will be formatted. So first verify it correctly. In boot selection menu, select disk or ISO image. Now click on select and navigate to the folder where you downloaded or placed the file of Revi OS, which we are downloaded in previous steps. Now select the ISO file of Revi OS and click on Open. Here select the Partition Scheme according to your system. If you don't know how to check your system partition scheme, then follow these steps. First, right-click on the Start menu. Then click on Disk Management. And Disk Management window will be opened, like this. Here, select the disk where your Windows is installed. Now right-click on the selected disk. Here, click on Properties, and Properties window will be opened like this. Here, click on Volumes tab. Now find the section called Partition Style. As you can see here, my system partition style is GPT, so I have to select GPT. In your case, it might be MBR or GPT. So select it according to your system. After selecting the Partition Scheme, don't do any changes in anything. Leave it intact. And simply click on Start. Here Rufus is asking for Customize Installation. You can customize it or skip it. And prompt will be opened like this for formatting the USB drive. Here, simply click on OK. Now the image writing process is started. It will take some time, so please be patient. When you see the ready message here, simply click on close. 
Now restart the Windows and boot from the USB drive. Remember when the system is restarting, press the function key which are specific for every system. If you don't know which key is used for your system to boot into the BIOS, then refer your motherboard's manufacturer website. In most cases, the keys are F12, F11, or F9. Once the system entered in the Boot menu, here select the USB drive according to your system partition scheme. Select Legacy USB Disk, only if your system has MBR partition scheme. Otherwise, if your system has GPT partition scheme, then select UEFI USB drive. After selecting the drive, simply press the Enter key. Now the system is booting into the USB drive. It will take some time, so please be patient. Right now, the video is fast-forwarded to save your precious time. Now the setup is going to start. I know you're thinking why we are installing Windows OS instead of Revios. But let me tell you, this is it. The magic begins as we install Revy OS on your PC. Exciting times, right? Here, accept the license agreement and click on Next. As you remember, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the video is about clean installation of Revy OS. So I am going to remove all the partitions of previously installed Windows OS. Otherwise, if you want to dual boot Windows OS and Revy OS, you can skip this steps and create a separate partition for the Revi OS. If you don't know how to dual boot Windows and Revy OS, then do comment. We will make dedicated video for it. Now I have removed all the partitions of installed Windows OS. As you can see here, the 300 GB unallocated space is available here after deleting the partitions. Now, select the unallocated space to create a new partition. After selecting it, click on New. Here, you have to enter your desired size for the Revy OS. In my case, I am going to use whole 300 GB for the Revy OS. After entering the desired size, simply click on Apply. Now, an prompt window will be appeared for additional partition creation. Here, simply click on OK. Now wait for a while till the process to be completed. As you can see, the additional partitions are automatically created here. Now we can proceed to the installation of Revi OS. This is important step, friends. Here remember to select Primary Partition for the installation of Revi OS and then click on Next. Now the installation is started. It will take some time. For me, it takes 45 minutes to be completed. So please be patient. To save your precious time, the video is fast-forwarded. Now it is installing updates. The installation is about to finish. Please wait for it to be completed. Now the installation is done. The system is going to restart automatically in 10 seconds, or you can restart it manually by clicking on Restart Now. Now, the setup is starting services. It will take some time, so please be patient. Right now, the video is fast-forwarded to save your precious time. Now the system is restarting.
Here select your desired region and click on Yes. Here select your desired keyboard layout and click on Yes. If you want to use second keyboard layout, then select it, otherwise you can skip it. Now, enter the name of who is going to use this PC, and click on Next. Now create the super memorable password and click on Next. If you want to use Cortana, then click on Accept. Otherwise, if you don't want to use it, then click on Not Now. Now the system is preparing Windows. It will take some time, so please be patient. Now the Revi OS is installed, but configuration is still remaining. It will configure it automatically, so please don't close any windows, which opened by the Revi OS. As you can see here, the configuration is started. It will take some time, and after that your system will restart automatically. So please don't turn of your PC during these process. Now the RPC is going to restart. Now the R system is successfully booted up. Now you're ready to experience the faster and smoother performance with Revi OS. So friends, explore it. If this video is helpful for you, then like and share this video. And remember to subscribe our channel. Also watch this cool stuffs. Thank you.